All right, everyone, we are back. Dominaria United. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six pre release boxes. Each one's supposed to have six packs, booster packs in it. And then on top of it, one pre one promo card. So let's go ahead and check this out. This is the first time I've ever opened one of these. Decided to go this route instead of a booster draft box. Um, I thought, you know, a few extra $20 bills, not a few, an extra $40 bill would be okay to get these six instead of just 36 packs from a booster draft box. I love, I love how this opens. Some true craftsmanship here. Love it. Nice. Sorry for getting this all up in the camera's face. Let's go ahead and show the back. As we return to Dominaria. All right, let's open this up. We have our promo card. We'll keep that face down. We actually get one dice, nice. And let's see what else we get. Oh, MTG Arena code. I'm definitely gonna keep my hand on that. Because I have recently been loving on some MTG Arena. Nice little cardboard art card blocker. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice card box. There is definitely quality here that I felt I feel is a little bit better than um, the Baldur's Gate um, pre release promo boxes. So let's see, we got our six packs, our one promo card. So let's go ahead and get all the packs out and then get to the opening. Um, this will be the first time I've done any Dominaria United openings. Uh, so I'm very excited. This is release day. So I'm hoping I can get this video up on this Friday that I picked all this up. So let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. We got a blue die. I love that you get the die with these. All right, so keep the reveal to the end. Definitely do that. I'm stoked to see what promo cards I get, but let's do them at the end. Let's open the promo cards at the end. Uh, one card that I'm excited to get even though if I got one, I'd want many more, is Shieldred. Um, I feel like Shieldred would make an awesome black deck, especially with Riliana and her reprint. She seems like a masterful planes walker. But as I was uh, kind of studying up on Dominaria, it looks like they've done some things to make sure uh, Riliana just doesn't become over, over the top. Sort of, sort of say, but you know, we'll see once this, this set really kicks off. Promo card down. It's funny that they don't put the promo cards in like a little, a little like reveal. You know, the booster cards, everything has to be revealed a certain way. Um, instead, that just comes through some saran wrap, some plastic wrap. I love that fresh, crisp box opening. <laughs> Another blue die. So it looks like out of four boxes so far, the blue die are the ones kicking it off the most. Before, I used to give out the MTG Arena cards, but that was before I was playing on there. So... Um, I believe some people should have gotten some very nice cards from those promo, from the MTG Arena codes. Uh, so I paid about, I think, $140 with shipping on these pre-release boxes, which um, to me is a, is a great deal. 
Um, because not only do you get the dice, you get the arena code, you get the promo code, uh, I mean, uh, the promo card, you get the card box to hold the cards, which is nice. And then, I already said the dice, but if you like your cardboard life counters, um, it comes with that too. Or, I wouldn't say counters, but tokens. And, uh, this will be the last box that I need to open up here. Man, it's hard to resist from just flipping over those promo cards and starting with that. I always feel like that the better reveal is at the end, after we've seen what, we've, what we get. We get a white die with this one. And it seems to be... Yeah, a little bit different than the normal white dies, so that's cool. Everything has like a fresh take on it, which is nice. I definitely like the fresh take when they have a new release. So we have our 36 booster packs. We have our six promo cards. We have our six die. Looks like blue wins out the day. Uh, that's nice that we got an emerald. Um, let's see if I can't get this in here a little bit. Right there, I think. Let's separate these into three piles. Because we can. And as I always do, I open my piles up to left to right. As I throw dice around. Um, let's roll. Let's roll. Yeah, let's roll blue die for good luck. 17. So, I'm taking 17 as our lucky number right now. So, that's awesome. Put those up there. And, uh, here we go. The big, the big reveal. Nice. The packs open up nice and easy. Nice and fresh. Throw that over there, get my space cleaned up a little bit. And uh, a goblin card right off the bat, right off the bat. Goblin picker, one fire, discard a card, draw a card, two, two. A bomb common card. Target player, okay, aggressive sabotage. Um, nice, impede momentum. Clockwork drawbridge. A tree folk with domain. Um, so Domain is, I, well, Domain, I think, is back. I'm kind of unsure, really, how I should say that. Uh, I feel like it never went away. Crystal Grotto. Had this card in MTG Arena. Really like it. Um, I love the fact that you can scry one off of it, and it's just a common land. Um, that's really cool. Phyrexian Espionage. Um, scout to the wilderness. Okay, here's our first dual land. Um, comes in tapped. Um, nice! Relic of Legends! Yeah! I actually really like this card. It is kind of costly, but it has excellent abilities. So, basically, if you tap it, you add one mana of any color. Or, if you tap an untapped legendary creature you control, add one mana of any color. I feel like this is excellent. For commander decks it's going to be a new probably staple in commander decks um so yeah um we got fires of victory the spell was kicked draw a card fires of victory deals damage to creatures or planeswalker equal to the number of cards in your hand uh so so um yeah volher the voldarian desecrator legendary creature merfolk wizard i i like this card um, so you draw a card, then discard this for the tapped ability. If you discard an instant or sorcery card this way, each opponent loses one life, you gain one life. If you sacrifice this creature, you may cast a target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard this turn. If the spell would be put in your graveyard, exile it instead. Activate only as a sorcery. I'll take it. And our first saga with the new read ahead ability. Um, so you can scry four, 
You may put a planeswalker for a level two. You may put a planeswalker, a money value of six or less, and you may activate the loyal. Ah, oh, I love this. This card is a great card. And our first foil, a Phyrexian Kavu. First strike has an additional cost to this red permanent spells. To cast red permanent spells, you may pay two life. Those spells cost one fire or less. Um, whenever you cast a red permanent spell to fire, instinct deals one damage to any target. Someone beat the pulp out of me with this card um, on uh, MTG Arena. I love that artwork. I love Phyrexians. Put our land off to the side. First pack down. Two rares. Three uncommons. And the last kind of lands. And the new thing that's awesome about this is you can now use... I don't know if it's um, the fetch lands to get these dual lands out. Um, impulse. Uh, take up the shield. This is a nice instant right here. Broken Rings, Furious Bellow, Shadow Prophecy, Talus Lookout. All right, here's another Kavu, Kavu, probably saying it different. And our next dual land comes in tapped, Tangled Islet. <laughs> Islet on Dom Dom Dominaria, Phyrexian Warhorse. And a Sunlit Marsh. Nice. I would gladly like to take in all those two lands. Okay, Protect the Negotiators. That was our first uncommon. If the spell was kicked, create a 1-1 one, one White Soldier. Counter target spells. Counter target spell unless it's controller pays one for each creature you control. Alright, not, not a bad little uh, counter spell. Uh, Rona's Vortex. Nice. War, War Host Frenzy. Okay. And here's another legendary creature. Rat Attack of Orborg. Vigilance, Ward. Other zombies you control have Vigilance. Whenever another legendary creature you control dies, create a token that's a copy of that creature, except it's not legendary, and it's a 2-2 black zombie in addition to its other colors and types. I've been seeing this card in play, and it is nice. So that time we got uh, two uh, uh, an extra uncommon versus the an extra rare. No token. All right, let's go to the next pack, and I'll slowly get to opening these a little bit faster each time. Um, but as we get started. I'm checking these out for the very first time, so I definitely want to look at them. Death Bloom Gardener, nice. Molten Montrosity, Extinguish the Light, Pixie Illusionist. Okay, Clockwork Drawbridge. Um, I saw this card being played in a Defender deck. Um, I don't think they. I think they were playing with only two of them in there. In their deck, maybe four, but uh, that's a nice little defender card, especially being able to tap a target creature. We got Lightning Strike. Yeah, I'll take it. Phyrexian Rager. Um, Smash to Dust. Sorcery. And here's our first Dwarf Wizard. Trample. You can cast instant or sorcery spells. Put a 1 1 counter on him. I love that artwork. Um, then we have. Hurlun, the Battle Him, and our first, I think, alternate art right here on Aaron, <laughs> Banala's Rune, Menace, um, and then if you uh, pay that Swamp and Plains, sacrifice another creature and put a 1-1 one -one counter on a creature you control. Not bad. You know, the legendary creatures in this set are pretty good. Domain, each creature gets minus minus until uh, where X is the number of basic lands. Four, only costs four to play that. That's nice. Cult Conscript, nice. And it's the foil. Look at that. The artwork is beautiful. Um, you can return him from the graveyard to the battlefield. Only activate if a non-skeletal creature died under your control this turn. 
Too bad he enters tapped, but he does only cost one. And here is our first... Oh. Uh, so the, the random card slot is at the end. All right. All right. Here's our first uh, stained glass land. Very pretty. Not foil, though. But foils do... Um, they do, uh, you know, uh, have that... Why can't I think of the word? Where they curve over time. I don't I don't know why I can't think of the word right now. You can all make fun of me at the bottom of the video. Curl. They all curl over time. Unless you can somehow really get them not to do that. So I'll take that island as a non-foil. Because that would be awesome to get enough to... Uh, have them in your in your uh, commander deck or your standard deck or your popper deck. Um, timely interface, um, Juniper, Order Root Lever. Okay, we've seen this guy. We've seen this guy, Soaring Drake. Our work is beautiful. And then Radiant Glove. Sunbathing Walla. Shore Up. We'll take that. Heroes Heirloom. As long as it's equipped to a legendary, it has Trample and Haste. Nice. What a great artifact. Strength of the Coalition. And here is another stained glass. Alternative art, I believe, and the bard are given recruiter. At the beginning of your end step, if you control a creature with power greater than its base power, create a 1-1 white soldier token. Nice. And then we have the phasing of Zalfur. Uh, oh, yes. This is, a, this is the new destroy all creatures that you need in your blue decks. Commander decks, um, whatever, whatever blue you're playing with, because um, there isn't very, you know, there isn't that good of destroy all creatures, or if any, really in a blue, blue decks, and this is your, your new uh, standard that you're gonna need to have. So, that's a very good card. I'll take it. I, I'm loving what we're getting so far. Um, no rares, or I should say no mythic rares yet. Academy Wall. Shout out to the Tolarian Community College. There's your Academy Wall. Get it put up. All right. A geothermal bog. Some dragons or pixies flying around. That's cool. All right. We'll put this right there. Uh, Enlist, Argarian, Argivian, Cavalier, sure, Scorn. All right, this is a counter spell. Frexian human, uh, Frexian missionary enters battlefield. If it was kicked, return target creature card from. Yeah, this is a great card. This is a fantastic card. Okay, and we got Balmar, Battle Mage, Captain. And we have our first rare rant, land. Um, doesn't come into tap. You can tap it for colorless, or you can add... Oh, it's a shock land. Um, a darker waste. Nice. And here is our first... Our first foil stained glass legendary creature. Danthea, Banala's Hope. First Strike, Vigilant, Life Link. When Denora's Hope enters the battlefield, you may put an Allure or an Equipment card from your hand or graveyard onto the battlefield attached to Danthea. Wow. A really beautiful card. You know, I almost want to say it's etched, but I don't think so. That is a beautiful card. And now our first stained glass mountain. Pretty pretty. They sure did set up this um, new set very well after following Double Masters. It's 
hard to get over all those fantastic cards and Double Masters. So, let's keep this going. Vanquisher's Axe. Alright. Uh, okay. Seeing some of these cards already. This probably has to be like our fourth or fifth Phyrexian Warhorse. Oh yeah, Walking Bulwark. New staple for artifact decks. Or, I don't know, defender decks maybe? This is an awesome ability, and just in case you guys haven't seen this card, until the end of turn, target creature with defender gains haste, can attack as though it, it didn't have a defender, and assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. Activate only as sorcery. An excellent card. We got Frostfit Strider. Nice. Choking Miasma in. Miasma? <laughs> and then King Darien, the 18th. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Put one, one counter on King Darien, create a one, one white soldier. Sacrifice King Darien, creature tokens you control gain hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. So pretty much just, I don't know how you spam it, but spam five mana each turn. <laughs> Get a bunch of tokens out and then sacrifice him and go for the, go for the cutthroat. All right. Ooh, what a beautiful token card. All right. Beautiful island right there. These are not working out so well. So close together. Let's do that. Okay. All right. Next pack. I get this show on the road, or we're gonna be here for all day. All right. So commons, commons. Destroy evil. It's a great common. Um, uh, Mossbed Ancient, Ringmatic Kaplan, nice, nice stained glass right there, Steward of Tides, land creatures you control have flying, whenever a land creature enters the battlefield under your control, if you control seven or more lands up to one target land you control, it becomes, oh yeah, someone, you know, Someone was doing damage to me on this, with this guy. And now we have our first full art card, full art land. That is absolutely beautiful. Let's look at these two together. So different images all together as well. Atacar Waste. This is cool comparison side by side. I will take it. I'll take both of those cards. It's nice to have two of them, even though um, I like to get a variety of cards to really see what we're getting. Um, but it's nice to have the two right side by side each other and to be able to take a look at them. Um, a lot of fun. Okay, take up shields. Okay, hold on. Let's get this set up in my hand correctly. Stop showing. I didn't see the cards, but stop showing ahead. Okay. I like this card with the person riding the worm. Makes me think of Dune, the movie, or Dune, the book. All right, so Coral Colony, another defender. I see something shiny in the back. I just want to get to it. Legendary creature. All right, let's. Guardian of New Banella. New Banala. Huh. It's an enlist one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Karn the Living Legacy. In the foil. In the flesh. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> that is right on the money. Oh, I love these pre release um, decks. That is, uh, oh. 
I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Give me another one, please. Car in the Living Legacy, that is awesome. And you know, we still have many, many more packs to open up. So, oh, I don't know if I can do this video fast enough. Anyways, let's keep it going. Another Goblin Picker. Meteorite. This is a cool card. Uh, when Meteorite enters the battlefield, it deals damage to two damage to any target. Add one mana of any color. The only bad thing about it, it costs five to play. The Weather Treaty. Nice. Poor talk on a feet. Defiler of Dreams. As an additional cost to cast this blue permanent spell, you may pay two life. Those spells cost one water left. This effect reduces only the amount of blue mana pay. Nice. You draw a card whenever you play. When you, yeah. you draw a card whenever uh, you cast a blue permanent. Very strong blue colored card. And a great cobbled creature. <laughs> Cobbled. Kind of want that cobbled creature made up so I can put it on my front porch. People would think it's a little gnome, but it's not. It's a cobbled. A right, soldier for a token. Nothing. Nothing new there for a, for a soldier look. All right. Keep these going. Another Haunted Mire right after we already got a Haunted Mire in the last pack. But, I mean, we've gotten a few now, so no big deal. Runic Shot. Frex Another Phyrexian Missionary. That's fantastic. Okay, let's check this legendary creature out. A Goblin. Rolic Mons Warren Chief. When he enters, when he attacks, look at the top card of your library. If it's a land card, you may put it onto the battlefield tapped. If you didn't put a card onto the battlefield this way, create a 1-1 red goblin creature. Nice, and it has menace. Not bad. Herd migration. And then Hammerhand as a common foil. Look at that art. So far, no textured cards. But I don't think you can get a textured card um, outside of the collector boxes. And the texture is different um, than it was in uh, Double Masters. I believe the texture is only either on the artwork or it's only on the wording, I believe, on the outside of the box. On the outside of the artwork box. All right, let's keep this going faster. Faster and faster and faster. Another meteorite. Okay, another cult conscripts, but this time not the foil. Still a beautiful card. The foil looks awesome with the green. Strength of the coalition. And Lagamos. Hand of hatred. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Angie the sleeper agent. Fantastic. That is awesome. Two Planeswalkers now. Uh, I think I'm always going to have to go the promo box way on uh, buying, on buying packs. Buying that many packs from a draft box or a pre-release bo um, pre boxes. Oh, this card looks awesome with the artwork. Great artwork. As additional cost, cast this, sacrifice a creature, and destroy target creature. Too bad it doesn't have destroy um, target planeswalker. But then that would make it too powerful. Just sucks that the destroy creature, you have to sacrifice a creature. Tolarian Geyser. Add that to the Tolarian College Academy wall. Knight of Dust Shadow. This is an excellent card right here. Um, you make oh, Haji the Storm Runner. A great card. And our next, next oh, dual one. Vamiya Coast deals one damage to you. 
or add a and add a forest and a, a water. That is awesome. And our elf noble is equal in toughness to each number of creatures you control. If one more creature tokens would be created under your control, those tokens plus those tokens plus a one one white token. Wow. Wow, that's awesome. Okay. That was a sign. I mean, they really went all out on making Dominaria United, which is cool, cool, cool. All right. Still many packs to go. Many, many packs to go. Tonic Librarian. Nice. I like that card. Heroes, you're here alone. Aaron Banala's Rune. Menace. Wrong spot. Def Defiler of Faith. Phyrexian Human Vigilance. As an additional cost to cast white permanent spells, you may pay two life. Those spells cost. One planes less to cast if you paid this way. This effect would you... Okay, why do I keep reading all that way out? Ah, uh, nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. So, Squee the Dubious Monarch. So, whenever Squee Dubious Monarch attacks, create a 1-1 one, one attacking goblin creature. You may cast Squee from your graveyard by paying four rather than your... Um, rather than paying its mana cost. Beautiful card. And in the foil. And our Phyrexian token? Nice. Keep this party going. Keep this party going. For some reason, I just think the poles are better. Well, better when you buy these pre-release boxes versus a whole booster draft box. I don't know why. I just don't think we would have gotten both of the Planeswalkers and both of those Coast Cards. Coast Cards, that's funny. Coast Cards. Um, this way. Plus, you get the MTG Arena Code, which just is really awesome. And I see something else coming up that looks mighty tasty. Alright. Oh, yeah! The weather light completed. Completed. Flying. As long as weather light has four or more Fresis county counters on it, it's a Phyrexian creature in addition to other types. Whenever a creature you control dies, put a Fresis counter on weather light completed. Then draw a card. If it has seven or more Fresis counters on it, if it doesn't, scry one. Awesome card. A fantastic legendary vehicle. And only for two, two mana. So it's like you have that in your starting hand. You don't have anything else to play on round two. And you have two mana out. You just cast that sucker. When you let it build up its counters. And you scry cards. It's amazing. Okay. Alright. The bard. Oh, the caves of coils. Beautiful. Beautiful card. I'll take it. I'll take all what, all six of these different cards. I don't know what, how many there are. There's probably a lot. Let's see, there's two, two, and two. Yeah, there's, there's probably like 16 varieties maybe. But I don't know. I don't know. Molten Tributary. Radiant Growth. 
Sprouting Goblin. Enter his battlefield for his kick. Search for a land card. Nice. Prayer of Binding. You can flash this card. Enter his battlefield exile up to one target non land permanent. An opponent controls until Prayer of Binding leaves the battlefield. You gain two life. Fantastic card. A Loss Ill Core Sadistic Pilgrim. Legendary. Death Touch. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. Whenever another creature you control dies, each opponent loses one life. Wow. Put this with um Shieldred. And uh you're just doing damage and damage and damage. Why are these corners bent? Complaint? I have a complaint, magic. Wizards, I have a complaint. Your corners are bent. The Academy Lore Master. At the beginning of each player's draw step, that player may draw an additional card. If they do, spells they cast this turn cost two or more. Nice. Very nice. Our first planes. Foil. Or not foil, but stained glass. That's what I meant to say. All right. Uh, we're not even halfway yet. So, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. I really am enjoying Dominaria United. And I guess that's what everyone says about Dominaria. Whenever we return, uh... It's really a lot of fun. What if I pulled a Rilliana? I'm just thinking of that. I forgot, you know, I got these other two Planeswalkers. What if I pulled Rilliana out? That would be amazing. And here is our first Saga card that is Foil. Love Song, Night and Day. Um, you and target opponent each draw two cards. Creatures, cr create a 1-1 one, one white token. Um... Put a 1-1 one, one counter up to two target creatures. Uh, not a bad Saga card. For two, uh, oh, I thought it was two mana. Eh, it's an alright all right Saga card. With the read ahead ability though, that's what is making these Saga cards a lot more interesting to me. Before, I would want to just scrap them all and only play, you know, one that, one or two that I'd really like in a commander deck, though. Gin of the Fountain. Nice. A Bright Pile. Another Naji. And another Atacar of the, Atacar Waste. So now this makes our third one. It's not bad. It's not bad to get a full play set of this. My MTG Arena is gonna love me. I'm getting cards that I haven't got in that, in that game yet. Which is fantastic. Okay. All right, let's keep this going. Get through these commons, another cult conscripts. Org, spawn of Torg. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. Ooh. These are the. Wow. Look at that. The, the, the difference. That is awesome. And then Shadow Rides Priest. Another cleric, so you get 1 1. Search your library for a black creature card, put it on the battlefield, then shuffle. Man, that artwork is spot on. Okay. I really like that artwork. Reminds me something of like out of Ninja Turtles. Being in the sewers or something like that. Okay.
Cleaving Skyrider, Tail Swipe, Slime Foot Survey. Oh, awesome card right there. And then Squee, the Dubious Monarch, in the Stained Glass. Beautiful. Beautiful. I wonder how long they were sitting on the stained glass idea for. You know, where they're like, I wonder, you know, we have this concept, we're gonna do stained glass, it's gonna be awesome. I wonder how, they probably sat on it for a year, because they probably knew, knew uh, Double Masters was coming out. But I don't know, they were putting out their, like their whole list of coming sets and they seem to know well ahead of what they're doing at Wizards of the Coast. All right, we got Sunlight Marsh, Bog Border. Um, nothing, nothing. And then we got Inscribed Tablet. Nice. For two mana, that's awesome. Ring Mantle Chaplain. Lacamost Hand of Hatred. Wow. Tapped ability. Search your library for a, a card. Put it into your hand, then shuffle. Activate only if five or more creatures died this turn. Whew. Seems like a really good ability. Nice. Karns Silex. It enters the battlefield tapped. Players can't pay life to cast spells or to activate abilities that aren't mana abilities. X, tapped, exile Karn Silex. Destroy each non-land permanent with value mana X or less. Activate only as a sorcery. I will take that very nicely. These mythics that I've pulled so far, I am loving. So far we have four mythics. We still have, I think like 12 more packs to go. So out of uh, 24 packs, four mythics, uh -huh, not bad. Not bad at all. You know, we didn't get a single double land right here. That is excellent. Combat research, dragon whelp, this little guy. Oh, uh, I thought it was the other dragon guy. <gasps> oh, yeah! Really, on the Veil? Yeah! <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, man. That's three planeswalkers. And we finally got our first swamp. Stained glass. <laughs> That's amazing. Five Mythic Rares and 25 packs. Three Planeswalkers. I don't even... What? There's three, four, five. I think there's probably about five. The, the ten Planeswalkers in this set. I'm not too sure about that. I just know this set had an extremely large amount of cards that you could get. Um, that are rares, mythics. So uh, I would say we're doing pretty, 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 pretty awesome right now. And our f first fire saga. Not bad. Okay. Tatiova, Steward of the Tides. Yes, we have seen this card. Yes! Now, this isn't one that I wanted as much as those other Mythic Rares, but I wanted this guy. This is an excellent fire card. Shivin the Dis Devastator. Oh, love it. Oh, I'm loving these cards that I got. Excellent, everybody. Okay. That's six Mythic Rares now. 
out of 36 packs, well, we're not done opening the packs, but out of 24 packs, I don't know why I counted ahead, because I think I have 12 sitting right there. Because I'm excited, so I can't count, can't do math, can't do anything, I can't read. All I want to do is open packs and have a blast. <laughs> Runic Shot, Territorial Morrow, a Toracoru Sky Knight. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Plaza of Heroes. Add one mana of any color. Spend this mana only to cast a legendary spell. Add one mana of color among legendary permits you control. Or three exile. Plaza of Heroes. Target legendary creature gains hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. Very nice card right there. I am destroying it on this on this opening I'm getting a good mi good mix of of different type of lands that are rare or higher um well they're all rares and then getting an excellent picks of the mythics so I can't complain there Um, so this is very, very exciting. And, uh, now we have a Yaviyama Coast. Uh, ya Yavamaya Coast. Fantastic. I think we had... No, we didn't. Oh, yeah, we do. We have it right there. So. Nice. You know, I don't mind getting a couple of the same rare lands. Ah, oh, what an amazing pack opening this is. So I'm on the last of the three rows of card packs to open. You know, they do like six commons, then they do a, a dual land, and then they do two cards, and then another dual land. Phyrexian Chick, this card's pretty. Choking Miasma, Rata Herd Migration. Not bad. Look at this. Look at that token guy. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a more clean, like... I guess it's like a, a fly or a cricket. I don't know. Someone put down there what you think of that insect token. Artillery Blast. Radiant Grove, a sunbathing, root walla. Okay, we got another Phoenix chick. That's fantastic. If I was playing standard, could start. And another Angie. <sighs> I know it's not the super rare one, the best one, or anything, but man, that's seven mythic rares. Seven Mythic Rares so far, and we still have a bunch of packs to open. Alright, let's keep it going. This is going to be a longer video, but oh well. Oh well. Alright, I think something's going to be good in this one, because there's no dual lands. Dual tapped lands, I should say. Braid's Frightful Return... Slime Foot Survey, I'll take it, Inscribe Tablet, Danthea, we'll take it. Oh, that's not, yeah, we'll take it. Nope. Take all those cards. Looks like we have one, two, three, seven packs left, so... This is our eighth pack, so eight. We've opened up 28 packs so far. Pack 29 right here. I love when they do this blossoming pink slash blossoming red color with the backdrops like that. It's just beautiful. Oh, we got Shieldred's Restoration. Nice. Maybe Shieldred will be in here. Shala's Acolyte. 
Nice, 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 nice. Um, Sten Paranoid Partisan. Enters the battlefield, choose a card type, and a creature spells of that chosen type costs one less. Fantastic. Treasure. We all like treasure. I feel like I got treasure just by opening up these cards. It's called that cardboard treasure. That cardboard that costs money. Okay. Another crystal grotto. And Resolute Phyrexian Missionary. Nice. Another squee. Squee. We all squee. The Dubious Monarch. And I love this swamp card. I don't know why, but I think it is pretty awesome. Swamp Lands card, I should say. These on the screen right down here. All right. I almost want to say I can make a standard deck, but I would need. A... Well, the standard deck I'm thinking about is like a black one, so. I don't quite have enough of the black, certain black cards. But anyway, let's cut down. Nice. Danthe has been all his home, but okay. Take it. And a beautiful dragon. G O G. I am. Overjoyed. I got a Riliana. I got Karn. <laughs> Jaya's Fire, Fire Nato. A cool looking card right there. <laughs> it's so cool. Look at that. Uh, 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 Gibbering Barricade. Another wall card you need for the wall deck that you can win with if you get all the right wall cards. And a couple more of those um, artifact uh, defender cards. And then you can turn walls into attacking creatures. Pilfer. Yayer. I love this card. Another Phyrexian Missionary. I see a beautiful artwork card coming up. Threats undetected. Search your library for up to four creature cards with different powers and reveal them. An opponent chooses two of those cards. Shuffle the chosen cards into your library and put the rest into your hands. Nice. And Aaron, Banala's Rune, in the Stained Glass Foil. Just excellent. Excellent looking card. And I'll probably say that about all foil stained glass cards. I think that's right. Man, this has just been a blast to open so far. I have uh, three more packs to go. So exciting times. Lightning strike. Smash to does. That's interesting. They're right back to back with each other. Shala's Acolyte. Tear Asunder. Nishobi Brawler. Jahor, the Ageless Innovator. Nice. Put two Ingenuity counters on Jahora, the Ageless Innovator. When you may put an artifact card with the mana value X or less in your hand onto the battlefield where X is the number of Ingenuity counters on Jahora. Only two mana. Legendary creature. Beautiful stained glass forest. Three packs left. Are we gonna get another Riliana? Are we gonna get another Shiva the Devastator? 
We're gonna get the Hydra. I forget what Hydra it is. What the, f the full name is. If I got too really honest, that would be through the roof. I'm already floored by the cards we have received. Thank you, Colt Conscript. Horror Cyclops. Baron Benalla's Room. Keldon the Flame Sage. Enlist. Uh, X. Very X. Um, okay. Oh. This is another way of casting an Exile card. They're really having fun with those casting of Exile cards. Two packs left, guys. Um. Yeah. I wonder... Wonder what we're gonna get in our final two packs. I'm already blown away by everything we've received. Sprouting Goblin. Yep. We like that. Roddy. The Coalition War War Domain. Nice. Oh! Beautiful. Wayline binding. That is awesome right here. What a great card. You know, the surprises keep coming. I just can't keep my head afloat on all the different cards I could be getting because I'm just so shocked every time I open up a pack and what we receive. Um, this is the last pack of 36 packs. This has been a fantastic opening. And, uh... Cross our fingers for another amazing end to this. Let's, let's get a, another Mythic Rare. Let's just get something dope. Something. Maybe Shieldra? Shieldra? That would be nice. That would be nice. I thought for sure I might get one. A Micromancer. Got that. Got that. Braird's. Arisen Nightmare. At the beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice an artifact, creature, land, or planeswalker. If you do, each opponent may sacrifice a permanent that shares a card type with it. For each opponent who doesn't, that player loses two life, and you draw a card. Beautiful. And let me tell you, this foil card right here is just gorgeous. That is beautiful. And it has some playability because it costs only one mana. All right. Well, now we're to our promo cards. I'm very excited here. We'll just go right off the top. We'll open it up this way. Okay, here's our first promo card. Dun, dun, dun. The Cruelty of Gix. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a creature card or planeswalker from it. That player discards it. Search your library for a card. Put that card into your hand. Then shuffle. You will lose three life. Put target creature card from the graveyard onto the battlefield you control. Boom. Boom. That is an excellent card right there. Whew. That yeah, is beautiful. Okay. Almost, almost looked at it. <laughs> can't, can't forget. Can't turn it over because it's in see-through plastic. <laughs> oh, 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 look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh, coming through with the promo cards right now. Those last two cards are amazing. Okay. This guy's moving around a lot. Can we... Can we not uh, open it? There's the struggle. Live on YouTube. And the reveal. The fire of flesh. Nice. 
beautiful artwork. As additional cost to cast this black permanent spells, you may pay two life, okay? Yes, sir. Beautiful. All right, we have three more promo cards to go. What if Rilliana was in here in a promo? What would that be like? Lotto win? Lotto out of 1,000? Lotto out of 2,000? I have no idea. Aster Barra Blades. Beautiful. Enters the battlefield, look at the top seven cards of your library, and reveal uh, equipment or vehicle card from among them, put the rest onto the bottom in a random order. Wow. A fantastic card. Astor. Bearer of Blades. Oh. Sorry, everybody. Shook the world for a minute. <laughs> Alright, there's a small crease in this. Dun dun, herd migration. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Which is the coast? I have another complaint. Your card came with a little bend. Why? Alright, this is the last of the promo cards. Let's wish for a mythic wear and get a mythic wear. Oh, another cruelty of the geeks. That is awesome. I really like that artwork. Kind of reminds me of Damnation. Well, everyone, what a fantastic pack opening. What a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic booster draft pack opening. Just amazing. Came through with the car and the living legacy in the foil. Mmm. And really on the veil. Just wonderful. Well, everyone, have a great day. P please subscribe. Please comment below. Please like or dislike the video. And, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, keep it going. This is the first of my Do Dominaria United pack openings that I will have on YouTube. Everyone, have a great day.